Okay, I'm here with Jonathan in Colleen, Texas. And Jonathan, tell us about your business. What's the name of it and what do you do here? All right, so originally the business is Collector's Paradise. Um, it is two businesses in one. Uh, we have a anime side and then we have a pop culture side. All right, uh, originally we're both veterans and we ended up meeting in the PX on Fort Hood. So we decided to bring our business outside uh, so that way everyone in Colleen could have access to what we provide. Um, originally we started about May, July of last year, about a year. We've been in the process of doing this for about a year. We are probably the only, I wouldn't say Funko Pop store, but anime culture store in Colleen, Texas as of right now. I could be mistaken, um, but we try to, it's very family oriented. It's, uh, there's something in here for almost everyone. Uh, we have anything from Marvel, DC, Loungefly, um, anime as a whole. Um, and yeah, that's what the services that we provide for this for the local community. So he's been here for just over a year. Uh, something that really amazes me. I want I want you to show them your artwork. Never having done painting artwork before, take us over there and show us what okay. you did. Okay. So this is what I ended up painting. I'm sure the view. Hopefully, you can get it all with the camera. Um, originally, I got inspired by Joe. He's the local. He was the local artist in the area. Now he's moved to San Antonio, and he's the one who did all the spray paint in the rest of the store. So he inspired me to um, actually want to paint a mural. And considering I've never painted before, um, I told him, "Hey, this was the image that I wanted to paint, and this is what it looked like." Um, and he gave me a couple of pointers pointed me in the right direction, asked me if I'd ever drawn before, and I told him yes, I, throughout the years I've drawn, but I've never painted. So he explained to me that it was pretty much the same concept of him doing spray paint, paint on top of paint layers. I'm looking at it as more like a puzzle versus a drawing. And he left me with a lot of paint. He ended up leaving to Vegas. He also gave me some advice. He's like, worst case scenario, you don't like it. You can always just paint over it. So you drew this first and then you uh, painted it? Yeah, so I ended up pretty much uh, stenciling it um with chalk uh -huh. that way i can get the symmetry of the actual painting right but it was your own artwork you created um, yourself no actually no. it's a it's uh an actual image that i saw okay so everything that i paint i unfortunately my imagination's not as creative as like that i ha i would call <laughs> myself a a copycat in the sense I, as long as i can see it i can draw it um so this is your signature right here yes. from September 13th, 2022. Yes. So yeah. That's when I officially finished because it, it did take about three weeks for me to paint this on yeah. and off because at the time I was working. So I would take about two hours, come in here. But look paint. at all the detail in this. This is really incredible for a first timer. This is. Yeah, I this mean, is my first time painting. Look at the shading you put on, on him. and. Yeah, it's like, honestly, my wife was the one who legitimately helped me get all the color scheme properly down. Um, there was plenty of times I had to paint this. I had to paint this one over maybe about three times, and then the rest about twice. The only one that I got on the first try was Blastoise. <laughs> he was the one I got down the <laughs> color perfect. You know the way that I liked it. Um, but everyone else, uh, yeah, it was the color scheme, mixing of colors to get it uh, down. But the way that I learned was, or the way that I decided to go about it was, it's patience. Honestly, patience <laughs> plays. A big factor taking your time and getting the color the layers of color down properly as long as you take your time you can uh, the cool thing about paint is that even if you mess up you can always paint over it you can you can continue the process um, paint on paint yeah exactly so uh, you want to show us uh some of the examples of merchandise that you yeah sell? yeah of course yeah, of just course. show us the whatever you want to show so um all these shirts in here are made by my son they are all oh really yes yeah so he makes them all um we get uh dtfs from a lady out of ohio which are dtfs are dir uh, direct transfer um images um she copyrights everything so we don't have to deal with that <laughs> Um, but what we do is we'll grab the shirts and we end up heat transferring them to the actual shirts So pretty much um, as long as you can think of it, we can make it. So what sizes do you sell? Um, we go all the way up to 
2x? No, I want to say 3x. 3x. 3x and down as of right now. And is it around 25 or? Yeah, 25 a piece. Yeah. Um, and then we also saw sweaters, but unfortunately it's 105 degrees outside. <laughs> right. So it's not selling those right leave now. Leave that right there. All right. Um, we sell squishables, which are really big plushies. Um, they come in all sorts of different, you know, from uh, um, kind of having a little yeah. brain part right now. Uh, from Venus fly traps to UFOs. What's to this? Cthulhu, to the here. mac and cheese bowl. Oh my goodness. To the flying pig. <laughs> all kinds of things. Yeah, all sorts of things. Um, we are constantly always getting these in. We sell wall art. Um, which, yeah, could be a little bit inappropriate, but we thought it was funny. Um, we also sell Funko Pops. Uh, a lot of Funko yes, Pops. Yes, a lot of Funko Pops. Mainly, especially on the right side, since like I said before, we are two veterans in the store, and we decided to bring everything that we offer to the soldiers off post. That way we could give the local community access to everything that we provide. We sell figures, uh, statues. Oh, here we go. So everything from Phoenix to Rogue Badlands to the Mandalorian. To Iron Man, to Batmobile, Captain America, Deadpool, Ant-Man. That's all. You guys have access to all of that. Um, and this again, anime Funko Pops. Uh, my friend, uh, in Joe, Vegas now? he ended up painting all this mural right here. Originally, that's supposed to be a version of us as Funko Pops. <laughs> yeah, so that's me. <laughs> Yeah, as it's Thor. Thor. Um, that is my daughter. As is that Williams. your wife? Is the uh... no, that's my other daughter. Oh, you have two daughters. Yes, and then that's my son, and then that's my wife as She-Hulk. So your son, I don't know that character. Uh, Carnage. Is that, that's the one who uh, does the shirts. Uh, yes. Your son. Yeah. Yes, he's the one who does the shirts. So. What? By the way, what are your hours here? Um, originally, we are open Tuesday through Sunday. Um, so Tuesday is 10 to 6, all the way to Thursday, then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are 10, or sorry, Friday and Saturday are 10 to 7, and then Sunday is 12 to 6. Okay, now what are some of your favorite things here that you sell? So my favorite thing, honestly, I grew up on Pokemon, so we sell Pokemon. I have a bunch of Pokemon art over here. Um, we have Pokemon cards, we have booster packs, um, I'm also into... What are the giant things? Oh, those are wall arts that we got from uh, a distributor Senpai. Uh, Senpai, uh, yeah, Senpai, he ended up uh, giving us access to his... He makes those. Oh, okay. So I was finally able to get him in the store and now I'm able to sell them so I get them from him. Um, but ultimately, yeah, so I, I grew up on Pokemon, like so it's a card playing game. That's what I like to do. And that's what I like to collect. How about your uh, rarer stuff? My rarer stuff? Oh, uh... Don't have to be Pokemon, just anything that you have. Um, my rarer stuff, honestly, I want to say I'm into Jeeps, so I have a Jeep myself. How about that you sell? Oh, okay, that I sell? My rarer stuff that I sell? Yeah. Um, that would be what's in the case in the cases right here. Oh, okay, here we go. Yes, yeah, so. so these are either really rare pops or there are signed merchandise and they all come with certificates of uh, authenticity. Yep, and they're either signed by the voice actor or they're, all these are signed by the voice actors. And then I also build uh, figures, which are Zoids. They're kind of like Gundams, but those are not for sale. They're just displays. Really, okay. really, really cool. Part of your decor. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Um, and then everything in the cases as well over there. That's more of our rare stuff. More of the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we did pull a lot of our merchandise for the uh, <laughs> Nickelodeon. They're doing it. Oh, no, they did. Was that this weekend coming up? Yes, so we have one this weekend in Houston. Then the following weekend, we are going to uh, New Mexico. Gosh, you got it. Yeah, tons, tons of busy. Oh, before I mean. that, we ended up doing uh, Corpus Christi and then Bell County. Yeah. So it was Corpus Christi, Bell County. Um, now we're going to go to Houston. Houston and then New Mexico. Yeah. And then <laughs> the we, farthest one away, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then we also have Giganticon, which is a local one here in Columbia. Giganticon, what is that? Uh, that one, when is Giganticon? September 30th. September 30th, okay. Yeah. So we'll be doing that one as well. Um, then we also have the anime side. That is our business partner. She does that. Um, she's a lot more so for all of my anime people who yes, love are. anime. That's where you want to come. She has pretty much everything you can think of. You want to take us over there and just show us quickly? Yeah, yeah, I know it's yeah. your, not your side, it's her side, but might as well get it while it's here. Yeah. 
What's up, Janice? Say hi. You're on the camera. Okay. <laughs> so this is her side. Okay. Um, she has everything from wall art to banknotes. Usually she keeps all of her cards in here. Uh -huh. And they're more anime-based cards. Um, she has replicas, statues, pretty much um, same thing, posters, plushies as well. But it's all anime-based. Pretty much drinks. Doing the same thing. More of the same? Okay. Yeah. I see a lot of extra room over here on this side. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had to move around due to the, she also goes to cons as well. Oh, there's a TV set up so you can yeah, watch uh, them. Yeah, where they can come and play games and Oh, okay. Out. Yeah. Yeah, so there'll be times where they have little tournaments and stuff, you know, for the local community and things of that nature. And a dartboard? Yeah. <laughs> Back there to play darts. We got bored in the very beginning, you know, we, we didn't have any of this fancy stuff, so we were out here just throwing darts, you know. <laughs> Kind of writing it down old school, you know, beating each other. So for what you're telling me about why you've invested in this place, business must be pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, it's been a very, we have a very strong community of local collectors. Um, since the very beginning, we ended up uh, establishing those connections when we were on Fort Hood. If, and if, then, if you didn't have the, uh, con the cons you'd go to, just this place, how well do you think you'd be doing? Um, I think, so right now, what I tell everybody is, you know, um, the business makes enough to sustain itself. Um, I don't plan on getting rich anytime soon. I don't, you know, I do have uh, plans later on, mm -hmm. um, but it's pretty much based on the local area and what they provide. And so far, they've been very, very helpful. Um, we've had numerous collectors come in and, you know, trade things in or even give it away because they're like, hey, we just want the local, we want the local business to make it. Um, so I do have a really strong support system from our local customers. Well, that's good, yeah. Yeah, so um, that's why we decided to open it. And then we were collectors ourselves. Or should I say my wife was, you know, she was a big collector. And we would travel all over. We'd go to Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Dallas. Um, and then one day it just clicked. We were like, well, Colleen doesn't have anything like this. Like, you know, we drive everywhere else. Why don't we see if we can do something in the local area to actually bring it? Because we knew we, we would talk to other collectors and like, yeah, I drive there, I drive. Yeah, you know, everyone is always driving somewhere um, away from somewhere there. else. Yeah. Yeah. When in all reality, we could do it here. You know, in our right in our backyard. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. We ended up uh, meeting Dominica Canteen, and uh, we had to sit down and we're like, you know, why don't we just do it here? And one thing led to another, and now a year later, and we're in the store, and we're continuing to grow. Now we go to cons, and we, you know, pass out the information, let people know, hey, we're here. And now, like you said, we always get that, oh, well, we didn't know you were here, we didn't know, you know, so we're still working on that. Right? And you guys are right across the street from that Star Wars restaurant. Yeah, from Galaxy Burger. So yeah. that's, uh, you know, a little bit of a yeah, crossover. Yeah, that's, the, that's the main reference that I use. So yeah. like, people always ask, hey, where are you? Where are you guys located? And I'm like, well, I'm on Veteran, you know, 105. And they're like, well, I don't know. And then I'll say Galaxy Burger. And they're like, oh, yeah, that place is awesome. <laughs> the Star Wars place. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, we're right across. And the White Rabbit tattoo is literally right in front of us. Yeah, I can see your right, yeah, rabbit yeah. right through the window yeah. there. Yeah, so basically yeah. that's, I mean, that's what we've been doing. And we're continuing to, uh, to grow and um, just try to do more and bring more for the local community. So. You do stuff for the community? Um, so we've volunteered a couple of times for the Colleen, um, sorry, the Colleen Chamber of Commerce. Uh -huh. I know they've had us go out uh, when they have their meeting, or not meetings, but their events. We've done a couple of those. Um, and then yes, we have game, I'm trying to establish games, uh, board games, that's why I have the table here. We have two tables, but we're constantly adjusting it and then the space is very limited. So we'll have it where uh, we do uh, game nights and then we're trying to do movie nights, but so I'm trying to get it like a projector put up here uh, with a screen to come down to where we can move the merchandise and just uh, oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, and yeah. actually do like a movie with free popcorn, things like that. That's what we're still working on. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, pretty much, and then it's the summertime, so we always tell the parents, you know, hey man, if your kids aren't doing anything, just come drop them off, dude. We're open from this time to this time. It's a safe place, a safe environment. Nobody's going to do anything here. Uh, same thing for trades. You know, people. A lot of people do trades, 
and they'll even meet up in the parking lot or in yeah. Walmart or whatever and then we've told the local community hey well, you guys can nice. come here and do trades we, we don't care we're not going to charge you anything we just want you guys to be safe <laughs> when you're doing it because you don't know you well know. that's nice yeah yeah so we'll do that we've had a couple you know numerous people come in here and trade in the back and, you know, it's all good. We're not like, oh, you can't do that. No, no. no we'd rather you guys do it here where there's cameras. And they might do some shopping while they're here. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. At the same time, they'll come in here and be like, oh, man, oh, I didn't even know you had this or this or that. So. Well, thanks for the uh, interview, Jonathan. It yeah, was no nice problem. to see you. It's been you're in business and thriving so far, so that's thank good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to. Here, I'll let you turn that off on me. So, again, one more time, the name of the store? Uh, Collector's Paradise. And the address? Uh, 105 Veterans Memorial, Colleen Boulevard, or yeah, Colleen. Right across from the B&G Galaxy yeah. Burger. <laughs> okay, you turn off.